Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome everyone. If you're new, please smash that subscribe and like button. If you enjoy my readings, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below, as well as other links and goodies that you can peruse. Hi everyone in the chat, hope you guys are doing well. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading straight away. Just remember, this is a general love reading, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fifth, leave the rest. And Sundays, I do a singles reading. So do tune in on Sundays. I'm here every day, and I do weekend readings. If you don't know, now you know. All right, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what's falling out here. Okay, got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth okay so there's definitely some transformation occurring during this october season we've got jumpers we have kisses unconditionally loving you giving and receiving affection falling in love so there's a relationship here that will be evolving in october to a next to another phase to a higher phase Okay, there's growth happening here. And um, hmm, maybe you'll be getting some kisses in October from somebody. Um, a lot of love and affection as well. Let's see what else, what else, what else. So exciting, so exciting for you, Virgo. I know you're working hard and you're doing the best you can. Um, yep, let's see. Libra season partnerships, love, cuffing season, holiday time, all that fun, good stuff. Oh, not today. Okay, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation call, person, boundaries, still angry. Oh, what? Virgo, everything was going, somebody's trying to come in here. Okay, here's what's happening. Okay, there's, I feel like there's somebody here they don't want to talk to other people. That's what I feel like is going on here, okay? Not today. Somebody is like, they have other people calling or someone else calling them or texting them or sending them a message, giving them a hard time. I feel like there's someone here who is like not wanting to talk to another person. They're looking at, listening to the voicemail. They're looking at a text message. Um, I don't feel like it's you. Some of you may not even know this person. Some of you might, but I feel like there's someone here who is completely focused on you in October, okay? Completely wanting some type of connection with you to make a relationship evolve. Maybe this is dating uh, some of you. Where's my deck? Hello, some of you might um, meet somebody new in October, okay? And for others, this could be somebody that you're already connected with. Um, but I feel like somebody wants to evolve your person, this person, a new person um, wants to evolve from a past relationship or other people that they've had in the past that they're not interested in anymore. This is also like work calls and they're like, nope, sorry, focused on Virgo right now. That's what's going on. Okay. Let's take a look and see, oh my goodness, okay. There might be a date or spending some time together with someone and work calls or other people are calling or family members or uh, exes or other people that think that they have a shot with your person. Your person's like, nope, not today. Nope, focusing on Virgo, Virgo's it. Okay, let me see. That's a little bit of an ego boost for you, okay. So, <laughs> Virgo, Seven of Cups. Someone's going to be fantasizing about you in October. They have a lot of options, but they want you. Look at you standing there. Like maybe you ghosted someone or you're just not talking to somebody. This person, you see the ghost right there? Okay. This person's like intrigued by you, at least in October. There, there's this like, oh. Ooh, what's going on? Virgo is Virgo is in intrigue, intriguing. I see. 
Picking and choosing, decision, dreaming, fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, imagination. Someone's dreaming about you, or, or they could be now, or they, they will be in October. Okay, they're not committing to anyone else I see here. They're not interested in anyone else, just interested in you. Okay, I'm going to call out the signs as they come. Oh my goodness. So far, Scorpio and Gemini. Look at that, the lovers. Wow, okay, there's a connection. There's a falling in love here. This person, oh my goodness. I, I'm like speechless with this reading already. I'm speechless. Major choices, love, soulmates, kindred spirits, perfect union, partnership, relationships, romance, desire, sexual connection, shared values. Somebody's um, in October going to be trying to, um, like, I just feel their head turns, you know, because they're so intrigued by you. Maybe it's the way you look or the way you sound or um, the way you present yourself or if there's something you've changed something in yourself and this person gets a glimpse and they want to see more and they want to know more about you. For some of you, you, you might not, okay, it could go either way. You might not know this person. This could be somebody new coming in in October. And I think I might have said that on Sunday. Um, and for others, you know, uh, call out the signs. This could be someone that you already know. Let's see. Somebody is in love with you. Oh, my God. This person, either it's the pa a past person who's completely, like, infatuated with you, dreaming about you, having fantasies and dreams about you, or this is somebody you're meeting in October. And, you know, either way, whoever it is, the energy is going in that direction, okay? They're they're hanging up the phone. They're they're putting the, taking the phone off. I remember the old days, you take the phone off receiver so you didn't get any calls, whatever. They're, do not disturb. This person is putting everything in October on, everybody on uh, their phone on do not disturb. They're interested in you, okay? They're going to be interested in you and, and finding out more about you, okay? Um, making this decision there's something about you Virgo and I think I've been saying that for a while let me see what else is going on here okay all right for some of you you might work with this person okay maybe you're working on a project with this person um, hmm this is a card of learning as well. And so we do have Capricorn energy as well. I feel like this person wants to study you. They want to learn so much about you. Learn things that they didn't know. They're so, they're, they're so, I'm just feeling this person is like so intrigued by you. Here in the reading, which means, you know, for October, that's what's going to be like. You connect with this person. You guys meet up. You know, they reach out to you. Um, there are, you could be on the phone with them and, you know, they get, somebody calls while you're on the phone with them and they avoid that call. They hang up on them because they're talking to you. They're, they want to know about you. They're asking you questions. I see that going on here. Okay. Very interesting energy. <laughs> very interest. They're, they're very, very intrigued. There's like a mystery to solve here with you. And of course, that's Virgo because Virgo, you know, you don't usually put yourself out there of your personal business. Okay. You're, you're very, you're very personal, private. You, you keep very, very, very private about your personal business. Um, everything else. I mean, that's generally the gist for Virgo. Some of you, I don't know, might be a little bit TMI out there with stuff but the general gist is that yeah you're not revealing too much and that's got somebody here in October like ooh, who's this ooh, if if you know this person there might have been like like I said some ghosting or maybe they ghosted you you ghosted them or you both did and then there was like this disappearing act and now it's like Everything else and everyone else they can see clear as day. But with you, it's like you're hidden to this person. And they they don't know where you are. They don't know, you know, they know you're there, but they can't see you and they want to see you. This is how. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, like I said, so far, 
uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio energy. Okay, now we have Aries showing up here. Okay, so this person, hmm. This person's gonna take control. Maybe they were someone who didn't take control before, or they might be someone who is kind of like maybe they have a uh, maybe they're a father or you're a father, um, maybe they're a father or you're a father. Or let's see. Oh, and they just said there's a father figure who does not approve of a connection, or like an authority figure who does not approve of them going towards you maybe they're hanging up their the phone on their father or another male in their life who's like kind of like no don't do it don't do it i don't know why i'm gonna take a look here what is going on nobody tells the emperor okay yeah because because <laughs> virgo this person is making a huge change in their life to come towards you i don't know what this is you maybe you know this person you've already had that kiss and then there's a spark and it's like what's that old song it's it's the way it's in that it's in his kiss it's in her kiss it's it's there's something about a kiss here that there's this falling in love energy after this kiss after a kiss takes place a kiss may have taken place before and somebody fell in love and then there maybe there was some ghosting or something and no i just feel like virgo somebody is super super intrigued by you and if it's any consolation yesterday's reading had a lot to do with like somebody staying silent thinking that you'll chase after them but you're not and you haven't been okay and you're not gonna do that which has this person like very very intrigued like what the heck? Why isn't Virgo like, you know, hitting me up? What's going on? Why isn't Virgo chasing me down? Everybody chases me down. <laughs> Remember I said there were some kind of games or tactics being played? Well, no, that this person is like crazy attracted to you, mostly because you're not chasing here. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to say is Either they have someone who is, okay, they just gave me area code, code 410. Um, now, maybe somebody is, this person has some, inf someone's influencing them not to go towards you for some reason. They don't want them to change. The, there's another person who doesn't want them to leave them, okay, to make this change, but... And this person who doesn't want them to make the change is someone who sits in an authority position. Maybe they controlled them um, or they had some kind of control over them in some way. There's like this fear that uh, it's not fear. It Maybe it's just control that the, they just don't want your person to change. But your person is bossing up here like the person who doesn't want them to go and is taking the power back and the control back to make this shift here with the wheel of fortune. There's a cycle. This is a decisive moment and this is a soulmate connection. Okay, this is fated. This is a destined connection. And there's karma here as well. Okay, the wheel is turning. Wow, okay. This person feels, it's like they're lost. They're struggling with money right now, I feel. Um, but they're trying to, I feel like that's not gonna last long. Like in October, their finances are gonna be amazing. Um, maybe they're getting away from someone that kept them in poverty or kept them in a position of hardship, okay? I don't necessarily, like I said, this could be, it could be an ex that they have or uh, someone that they're hanging the phone up on. That's what I'm trying to say. This person, whoever they are, they know they deserve better. They know they want you. They're like crazy. There's a falling in love energy happening in October from this person towards you when you meet or if you've already met and there's like a some kind of a separation yeah, I feel like 
wherever your person this well your person this person wherever they are in their life i feel like um okay they're giving me taurus wherever you are wherever they are in their life they're like broke busted and disgusted they don't want to live like that anymore they don't like how things are they're dependent on people places or things they're all by themselves they feel like the world's against them and they can't they can't go on they need they they need very much to have someone in their life supporting them and i don't mean financially but like you know partner in crime power couple energy you are that for this person in october this is what i feel like this person sees like like teamwork that's why we have the three of pentacles here there's teamwork there's something about this connection that gets realized in october especially where it's like, you know, two people say to themselves, you know, and to each other, we are perfect for each other. We are great for each other. We get along. We know each other. We understand. We're both dedicated. We're hard workers. We're committed. We, we're builders. We collaborate. We, it's just we understand each other, you know, after getting to know each other even deeper, I feel like. This person's coming into some kind of financial success here as well. Uh, it just feels like destiny. It just feels like this is something that's meant to be. Okay. Now we have the King of Pentacles. So that's Taurus again. So you could have a connection with another earth sign, of course. But I feel like what I was saying, this person's going from broke, busted, and disgusted to rich, sewed up, and looking fine, and looking good, being stable. I don't know if they had like some kind of financial, like I said, they may have had a financial independence on someone that was controlling them. Um, I see independence now on their own, okay? I see this person, they bettered themselves, and they're getting out of whatever they were in before, okay, where it's just not working for them anymore. This person, when they think of you, they re they compare, okay? So when October comes and you connect with this person and that kiss happens, if it hasn't already happened, there's this, there's this incentivizing that's hap that happens by way of love, okay? I feel like there's a meeting here, a falling in love energy, and I feel like this person kind of comes to themselves and like realizes that everything else before pales in comparison to what I'm feeling now with Virgo, to what this energy is, to what this feeling is. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. And this there's inspiration here. If you know this person, something has caused them maybe if there was separation something has caused them to level up like in major ways and get out from under um, get out from some type of controlling situation or just hanging up the phone and not listening to what other people are saying certain conversations just having boundaries i feel like somebody here has some boundaries maybe they didn't before okay yeah Returning to one's roots, okay? Six of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Six of Cups. So, Scorpionic energy, children, childhood memories, past influences, yearning, homesickness, nostalgia, a reunion. Some of you, this is a reunion with this person. Okay, creativity, kindness, simplicity, youthfulness, innocence. And I'm hearing, if you knew them, this is going back to the very beginning, starting from scratch starting all over trying it again um, for others this could be someone that you work with or this could or you've worked with them for a long time or this could be um someone that you knew when you were you know in or it could be okay they're just giving me this could be a parent of if you have a child a child has a friend and a friend's parent that could be a connection there okay another parent or this is someone from um, family, you know, childhood, your childhood, that you connect with this person. 
but I'm seeing sincerity and for some an apology coming to you for something. What is this apology about? Okay, yep, refusing the offer. There's an apology for not being sure, for missing the chance when they had it. There's an apology for focusing on the negative, being too self-absorbed, acting like they were bored. There's a lot of remorse and this person is, is in this nostalgia, two nostalgia cards right here. Love, maybe if you were connected with them before, giving your love, giving your love, offering your love, and they had their arms closed. Um, cancer energy, they had their arms closed. They weren't accepting. They were being apathetic towards love. Didn't seize the opportunity. Filled with regret. Stagnant, no motivation, lack of enthusiasm for love or connecting. This person was trapped, isolation, restricted, Gemini energy, backed into a corner, hands were tied. They couldn't get out of something. They were paralyzed, either by another person or the, by fear and terror. Tremendous amount of anxiety. They felt hopeless, helpless, powerless. They kept silent. They were in crises. No, nope, things have shifted here. There's a change. Okay? And if you didn't know this person from the past, this is why when you meet them, they're going to be so gun ho about you because they've had, either they missed opportunities in the past or they made bad decisions. And they don't want to lose this thing here with you. All right, let me see what other messages are. I mean, I love it. I really do. You know, I feel like if it's someone from your past coming back, even if it's just an apology, you know, well, good for them if they've healed. Um, if you don't want them back, you don't want them back. But if it's somebody new, I mean, if you do, well, then it looks really good. If you do want this, per, uh, if you do meet somebody new here, you're going to understand why this person get, they get very crazy about you. Super, super intrigued. And you, and at first you'll probably be like, oh, they're coming on real strong or they're love bombing or you're, you're just not sure. But that's not what I feel like it is. I feel like this person has been, you know, suffering over the mistakes. They, they chose wrong. Somebody that they chose was the wrong person and they suffered with that person for a long time. The struggle is over. Okay. So whatever struggle you have going on, whatever struggle this person has going on, you know, I always say like spirit always aligns people and brings them together when the time is right, you know, um, prepares each person for the meeting before they actually meet. You know, we all have to go through our dark, you know, um, our down our dark paths until we come across another person who has also traveled down a parallel dark path without even knowing each other or knowing each other before finally being able to come together you know we meet up ahead that's how that works if you don't have anybody in your life right now well they're being prepared for you just as you're being prepared for them and you will meet up ahead okay it may just not be now it, maybe it's in october for some of you all right but the struggle is coming to a close here all right, some of you are going to meet, well, we have mature, dynamic, fiery male, and that would be a fire sign, um, or this is a fire sign you're connecting with, or you know this person, Sagittarius, Leo, and we did say Aries, okay, struggle is definitely over for that person, could be a, a female as well, I always say, um, Virgos, I personally feel like Virgos get along real well with Aries. That's just my opinion. I feel like um, they're the most passionate of all the signs in the Zodiac. Okay, so you've got Reflect. Actually, it showed up in Reverse, but I just want to tell you that it's the moon in Reverse. Um, but to read it for you, go into your cave for a while, regroup, recollect. But I feel like you've come out. This person has come out. So whatever was hidden in the dark is now coming into the light. 
a lot was going on and somebody, you know, there was some alone time, like I said, traveling down that dark path. Um, somebody was quiet. Now they're coming out of this quietness. Um, maybe they told people they were taking a vacation or told you, or there was just like they went on this vacation or whatever it was, some kind of trip just so they could get away and they're coming back. They're recharged. They got that dynamic, fiery passion. They're recharged and coming back in. They've reflected. They've taken their time to make their decision to make change here, going to the next phase. Okay. Spying and deception. If you know this person, they've been trying to get a peek at you somehow. Okay. And all right. Trusting the intuition. This person is trusting their intuition. Their answer lies deep within them. They're trusting spirit and they're waiting for things to be revealed as far as you go, right? So I know some of you, what does that mean? If, if you already have a connection with this person, um, they're looking for signs and I feel like that's why they are trying to spy or, you know, not be seen. They're looking for signs to see when it's a good time for them to come in and because it's time. And for others, this is someone who maybe they get your number in October or they find out about you and they just kind of like peek around, see if they can get more information on you. Um, trusting their gut to see if like what you're about or if you're interested, that kind of thing. If you're with somebody else, that kind of energy. Okay, yep, look at all this passion. Allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy and engagement, your love life, this connection will ascend to a higher level of commitment. It's going to turn into an engagement, sealing it. A promise for everlasting love, okay? Beautiful, relationship evolving to the next phase. That's definitely what I feel like is going in here. Okay, letting, ask, and, ask for and accept support from others. Um, Okay, so this person will start flirting with you, I feel, in October. And I feel like some of you might be like, I got to call my friend. I don't, or I got to talk to my mom. I don't know what's going on. Uh, this person's coming on very strong, and I'm not sure if I should trust it or not. I feel like some of you are going to be that way. Um, let's see what Chinese signs are here. Okay, right out, right out the gate, we have the pig. Okay. All right, ear of the dog. Okay, year of the rat, year of the ox, all right, double dog, year of the tiger again, year of the horse, okay, double ox, year of the goat, and year of the monkey, okay, so that could be you, could be your person. Um, could be neither. So just keep in mind, it doesn't mean the reading is not for you. Just keep that in mind. Um, let's get some other signs and numbers. All right. So we have Leo, Aries again, Libra, two Leos. Okay. Um, 908, maybe September 8th. Somebody is 37 turn 37 somebody is five foot ten okay hmm okay is there a road code called the 203 the 203 i'm hearing 203 i'm also picking up 806 okay maybe august 6 or 806 let's see what else all right somebody was born in may of 1970 Okay, um, hmm. so 2019, I feel like I said that the other day, it was a significant um, year. Somebody was born in 63 or is 63, and then we have the numbers 1012, 1012. Let me see what else we have. Birthdays for Virgo, okay. Hmm. Oh, somebody is just turned 40 or is turning 40. Um, okay, we got the year 19. 
All right, so it's flipping all over the place. First I saw 69, then I saw 66, and now I'm seeing 1999. Somebody's also 33. Somebody's born in 67. So I feel like um, September 3rd, um, wow, you've got 999. I don't know whoever sees that number. Um, September 3rd, September 6th, September 7th, and September 9th. Okay, hold on. I just want to get a couple more September birthdays. Okay, wow. Um, the 19th. The 4th. September 11th. The 5th. Okay. And a couple more signs here. All right. Wow. OMG. I can't even believe it. Aries and Gemini. Double Aries, double Gemini. Okay. That resonates for you. That must be for you. Aries keeps showing up a lot. And Gemini just never leaves. Gemini just will not leave anybody alone. <laughs> All right. Let me see. A couple of charms. Okay. So a sundial. I'm picking up a sundial here. And I don't think that is a sundial, but I'm picking up a sundial or it's a, a wind, a, a charm, dream catcher, dream catcher. They're just giving me dream catcher. Now, maybe you're making one or you have one or you're looking at one or you're going to get one. Something to do with a dream catcher and an angel wing. You might see a feather. I feel like it's going to be a very light brown feather that you will see. It's not white. Um, it has maybe a little iridescent shine on it, but a feather. If you see a feather, this is definitely a reading for you or a dream catcher or a sundial. It's very specific. OMG and a diamond, a big fat diamond. Okay, that represents that engagement. And you know what? We're going to put that right here because some of you are getting an engagement ring or you are... Um, proposing to someone I mean it might go very fast you might just receive this person so quickly because it's such a real thing for you some of you are just completely ready to take that leap okay so you're either getting offered one or you're giving one um, or buying one or you have one from someone in the past and you're going to trade it in or sell it and get a new one for another person here okay Hmm. I'm also hearing there is an exchange of crystals that are symbolic. Um, there might be a gift, a gift like a crystal. Maybe it's, um, yeah, crystal or, or gem of some sort, a, a gemstone that someone's going to receive. It doesn't have to be a diamond, but like some type of a gemstone. Um, piece of jewelry, give or get or receive, um, not receive, um, but it's like a piece of jewelry with great crystals or gemstones or something along those lines. Maybe you work with that or you do something with crystals and gemstones. Okay, I'm going to leave your reading there. That was very interesting. Um, yeah, so again, if you guys want to get a personal reading, definitely go down below the video and click on the link and you'll be able to book your reading for the very next day. There's no wait. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that here for you as I have to go to the gym. So I will see you guys later. All right. Have a great, great evening. All right. Bye.